Okay. Call to order the Cotterville Township Board meeting for Wednesday, November 8th, 2023. May please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A moment of silence for all our wars going on and all those people. All right, we're going to have a uh, roll call first, I guess. Go ahead. Tom? Here. Lynn? Here. Mary Agnes? Here. Sherry? Here. Okay. Uh, we have the agenda approval. Now we have like a page and a half. And then I have. Uh, I got kind of busy today, and I got like 17 more things to add, so we'll probably be able to handle this pretty quick, but that pile I gave you is the 17, so the rest of it is was in your package that you got when you come and got it, so. For under new business, we need to add uh, notices of the increase in water from Ira Township. Rates. Uh, water rates. Pardon me? Water rates. Water rates. Yeah. When I said water. water. Oh, okay. Um, assessor reimbursement for some uh, a cert certificate of renewal. Number nine is our uh, resignation for uh, Keith Wright, who has moved out of the township. Number 10 is request for permission to advertise for that place replacement because it must be done by December 23rd. Number 11 is request for adoption of a proposed budget Resolution number 2023-003 regarding the ambulance authority. Number 12 is request <coughs> permission for the supervisor and the clerk to sign the paperwork for the 2024 local road funding assistance program. That's what uh, Tom was talking about a few minutes ago, continuing another section down Shortcut Road where it was left off this summer. Um, the, uh, it's for the next season, work season. Number 13, request for project control engineering's invoice to be paid uh, as soon as the money comes in from the uh, loan, either the state or the government, federal government on the sewer. Number 14 is uh, a request by the deputy clerk to contact Sintas to get uh, prices on cleaning the rugs and mats that um, are in the areas that have the most traffic in the new, to keep the carpet clean. Number 15 is uh, resolution 202309 regarding paying the county drain commissioner's office a total of the, all the money that's due at the um, at-large drains for Cotterville. They have them spread over several years, and we've got that uh, ARP money that we may be able to use for that, and we'd like permission to pay that. Uh, it's around 130000 Number 16, requesting this township staff uh, the day after Christmas. Um, Tuesday, December 26th, we'd like to give the girls the day off if we can. Number 17, um, township reimbursement for mileage for the following personnel. There was three ladies that did uh, need uh, car mileage for going to the bank and the post office and stuff like that. <laughs> so if you will take a look at the, of the consent agenda and <coughs> the pages and then this long page of 17 items, I'd appreciate a uh, motion to approve this as presented with all these extras. So moved. I'll support. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Nays, hearing none, motion carried. Thank you very much. All right, let's go on with the consent agenda. We've got uh, the minutes from October 11th. We have the treasurer's reports, the tax account, and the general checking um, as of September 30th. We have the cash summer reports for the general uh, fund for September 30th. And we have all the uh, township investments as of September 30th. In the clerk's department, we have the revenue and expenditure report for the month of October 1st through October 31st. That's 25 pages. Um, number B is the approval of paychecks from October 1st to the 31st, a gross total in the amount of $32,007.31, and it's paycheck numbers 3574 through 3598. 
Also in the approved uh, accounts payables, the opens that were paid through October 1st, through October 31st in the amount of $71.53. 38 checks, check numbers 21851 through 21888 in the amount of $420,772.22. There were two tax disbursements in the amount of $7,642.11. In the grand total between the two tax disbursements and the 40 and the 38 other checks, there's 40 grand totals of $428,414.33. There's also correspondence. Um, the Marine City Fire Authority runs for the month of October 2023. Do we have a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented? I'll make that motion. I'll second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. By roll call vote, please. Mary Agnes? Yes. Tom? Yes. Lynn? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Okay. Motion carried. Um, open session. This is where anyone in the audience can ap approach the podium. Please state your name and address so that we can figure out who you are. And the people from home that are watching you on TV will be able to, then you can give out autographs if you want. Do you got anything you want to ask about? She's asking where the Where's the cameras? <laughs> They're all over here. They're all over. This is our first time. Oh, no. Billy's used to being in the air. Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyone else has anything to know? All right, we'll continue with uh, new business then. Uh, we have a request by resident Lisa J. Marriott, director of Daydreams Farms Therapy and Rescue at 7731 Morrow Road, Carterville, Michigan, is asking to be designated a nonprofit organization operating in our Township for the purpose of obtaining charitable gaming licenses to be considered for approval through the state of Michigan. Um, I talked to the state. All of her paperwork was in order. I sent them a sample. I never heard back from them. I told them if they didn't, didn't like something to let me know. Uh, that should be in your package. Um, they're not great on communication. They're not great on communication? The only time they'll talk to you is when you've done something else. <laughs> oh. So anyhow, that was our uh, resolution number 23, uh, 2023-8 uh, for local governing body resolution. So we just need a motion to approve that. That gives her the permission to, to run a gaming license thing. The page two of that is the one that we have to fire off to the state. They wanted it handwritten. So that's the what, way I did it. What type of gaming are we talking about? 50-50 uh, Progressive Raffle oh, okay. at Gord's Bar. We ran our first one last night. Oh, okay. We did run one whole thing without having this, but I can't run a second one. I just curious. Yeah, it's a 50-50 Jack of Spades Progressive Raffle that we're running at Gord's Bar. <laughs> <laughs> there you got free advertising. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, you all had a chance to read through that because I gave that to you last week, but if there's a... Uh, Anybody that wants to make the motion to approve this uh, resolution and give her a chance to get this type of gaming license? I'll, I'll, make, I'll, I'll so make move. The motion. Oh, okay. you're gonna, okay. Go ahead. I'll so move and, sh I'll second. and she seconds. All in favor, signify by saying aye. By roll call vote, please. Tom? Yes. Sherry? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're tired, aren't you? <laughs> Lynn? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. <laughs> Motion carried. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> oh, cute. Um, number two is accepting the resignation of Keith F. Wright from Cotterville Township Board, effective November 1st. He's moved out of our township, and we're going to need to replace him. So we have his letter of resignation, and it's effective uh, tonight because this is one we're we're approving it. Do we have a motion to accept the resignation? I don't want to. <laughs> and you don't want to either? <laughs> We're just telling me he can't go. He's <laughs> to move back here. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty valuable on this board. I'll make the motion. I'll support. All in favor, signify by saying aye, please, and roll call vote. Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Lynn? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Motion carry. Good time um, to uh, put out, see it's on TV, that 
township needs more support and more people getting involved. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We'll put something together on the website, and we'll put it on the sign, and we'll run an ad in the paper. But we, like I say, it has to be done by December 23rd because that's our 45 days. Otherwise, the governor comes in and picks who she wants. Um, so that takes care of the next thing, too. So let's see. The request for the building department permit clerk, Kathy Harris, asks for a portion of the uh, mechanical permit to be refunded to Superior Heating and Cooling in the amount of $105. The permit was pulled in error, and the contractor wants his money back. But... Um, we, he still was charged 50 bucks for the review because Bill didn't know they didn't need it, so. I'll make a motion on And I'll support. All in favor, signify by saying aye, please. By roll call vote. Lynn? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Tom? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you very much. The next item is uh, the deputy treasurer um, would like to have permission to Send out the winter tax bills due December 1st, or out December 1st, printed, folded, inserted in their envelope, sealed and mailed first class pre-sort for a total cost of $1,682.69 with the estimated postage for this cost of $947.69.5. Um, all mailing must be mailed by November 30th. Do we have a motion to approve that expense? Yes. I'll make the motion. I'll support. All in favor, signify by saying aye. By roll call vote, please. Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Lynn? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Motion carried. Next item is September invoices for legal services for Garen Lukow Miller in the amount of $765. Your invoices are in your packet. We have a motion to approve. I'll make a motion. Bill. Okay. I'll support. All in favor, signify by saying aye at roll call vote, please. Tom? Yes. Lynn? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you very much. Number six is request for the local millage distribution from the St. Clair County Parks and Recreation Commission. I completed the paperwork. I sent it in and asked them to approve it before I brought it to you, and they found it all in order. So um, if you want to make a motion to approve that, uh, uh, paperwork to go to the local uh, for local distribution. I'll make, I'll make a motion. Okay. I'll second. All in favor signify by saying aye by roll call vote, please. Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Lynn? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Motion carried. Just for your information, there's um, that millage will return $18,971 to Cotterville for our Parks and Rec. Okay, now we'll go into the new business that we have under F. Number seven, uh, received a written notice from Ira Township that their effective January 1st, 2024, the water usage rate will increase from $9.89 to $10.38 per thousand gallons, 5% increase of 49 cents per thousand. We have a motion to approve that or accept that and file it. I make the motion. All right, I'll, I'll support it. Tommy, Tommy. All right, number eight, assessor request for reimbursement for certification renewal of $175 she's already requested and paid for online so that she could be up and right, running under uh, right after the first of the year. I'll make so that motion. I'll support. All in favor, signify by saying aye by roll call vote, please. Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Lynn? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Motion carried. Request to, to accept the resignation from Mr. Wright as he's moved out of the township. We wish him well. Accept his resignation effective immediately today. We already do that. We just do did that. We, did we do that? <laughs> that was number yep, two. Yep, we did that earlier. Number two. <laughs> okay. So oh, I guess I put it on twice. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were trying to get him back. All right. Request for permission to advertise for another board of trustee member to take Mr. Wright's place. And that has to take place before December 23rd, 2023. Number 11, request for adoption of 2324 proposed budget for the year ending 33124 resolution budget, uh, resolution 2023 003 regarding adding the ambulance 
authority fund to the 23-24 proposed budget for Catterville Township, which was approved by voters at the August 2nd primary election known as Propos Proposition 4, St. Clair County Ambulance Service Millage. A copy of the proposed ambulance authority is attached. Uh, Lynn did that. Fund budget revenues is uh, $77,195 and the expenditures were exact same number. Do you want to make a motion to approve that uh, budget amendment? And the reason I'll do a little quick explanation is that um, when this all came about the um, last year on the taxes, they had the ambulance authority and at the time we did not know how to quite record it into our books, um, into our system and actually um, I was not in the office at the time when all this happened <laughs> and uh, so um, and then the when the auditors came through they pointed out that we hadn't um, done the budget yet because we didn't know how in first of April we didn't know how they wanted it actually recorded and so now we're um, fixing the issue of not having a budget for the ambulance authority so this makes it all better yes okay all right so I'll make the motion okay I'll second Okay, yes, yeah, okay, all right. All in favor signify by saying aye by a roll call vote, please. Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. <clears throat> Lynn? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you very much. Next item is request permission for the supervisor and the clerk to sign the paperwork for the 2024 local. We did that one too, didn't we? No, no. I guess we didn't. No. no, we just talked about it. Yeah, the local. Uh, road funding assistance program in which the county will match up to $100,000, so we ask for the whole thing. And they have approved uh, their county board of commissioners for the road commission that they are gonna give us that next $100,000, and that will go another little ways down the road here, right on shortcut. Um, that will be done on the 2024 summer work session. Uh, so with your permission, we'll sign that paperwork. We have a motion to that effect. I'll make that motion. I'll second. All right. All in favor signify by saying aye, please. <laughs> aye. Aye. <laughs> I guess we better do it roll call because it's a hundred grand. Go ahead. <laughs> Tom. Yes. Mary Agnes. Yes. Lynn. Yes. Sherry. Yes. Motion carried. Thank you very kindly. Number 13 is a request for payment to Project Control Engineering and invoice number 21246-4 in the amount of $9,675 for work supplied to the township for the sewer project 2021 CWSRF. This will be dispersed when the funds come into the township from the state or the federal government loan. The approval of payment, please. I'll make the motion. Okay. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye by roll call vote, please. Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Lynn? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Motion carried. Request by Deputy Clerk Michelle Act, who contacted CentOS for changing out the clean floor mats that they would supply us for certain areas of the township hall and outside entrances as well. That packet is in your stuff. It's a lot to go through. I don't know if you want to hold off on this for till next month because I... I started reading it. I didn't have any more time to read through it. Yeah, you got you to gotta kind of sit down and figure it. So I don't know if you want to hold off on that and table it till next month. Or we can act on it if you... I, I don't think it needs to be more than once a month, do you? No, once a month is fine. You want to use that and yeah. continue then? Yeah. We can. I mean, All right, is that in the form up. of a motion? Or do you want to table it? That's $62 a month. A week. No, that's, a week. that's week. an average. And that? I think it's around $2,700, bucks, was not it? Yes. A year. And it includes um, the other items, too, that they supply the township with. <coughs> paper towels, toilet paper, liquid. Um, hand soap. Yeah. We've just soap. been doing it in-house up to now. Yes. 
What's your pleasure? Mm. Nice new carpet. It'd be nice to keep it nice for a while. I didn't hear you, Tom. I said we got nice carpet. It'd be nice to keep it nice for a while. I don't think it's a whole lot of money. All right. Do you agree then it would be once a month would be enough rather than every other week? Yes, once a month would be enough. Yeah. And what, how do you feel about that? Yeah, but once okay. a month's good. You want to make that in the yeah. form of a motion then? I'll make the uh, motion to approve the quote. For the supplies, bathroom, and kitchen, and the um, changing out the mats um, once a month. And I'll support that. All in favor, signify by saying aye, please, by roll call vote, please. Tom? Yes. <coughs> Mary Agnes? Yes. Lynn? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you very much. The next item is resolution 202309 regarding paying. The St. Clair County Drain Commissioner's Office, a total of $129,673.09, which would pay all of the uh, outstanding at-large drains for Cotterville Township out of the ARPA funds designated for the things of our township that benefit all township residents and property owners. The check would need to clear, would, would be for clearing up the, the Cotterville drain, the Lester Bamel drain, the Marine City petition, which I think is the old Marine City dredge cut, in the shade drain for that grand total to be paid before November 30th. As you can tell when, from when we sent you the information, some of that stuff tells you that um, it's it's a once a year thing that we have to come up with, and it usually comes out of our general fund. Right. And this year's budget was <clears throat> for 31,000 to pay the annual payment. Right. And that's included in this, but it also takes care of the oh. ones that are due. One goes to 2029, so it's going to be it's quite a savings. There's about, I think I figured seventeen thousand dollars worth of, of interest, interest. seventeen thousand thirty-eight bucks or something like that. So, um, the the resolution that that I prepared is is listed just that way with that stuff. Lynn double checked me to make sure I was correct. So, if you want to make a motion to that effect, here's your chance. I'll so move. Do we have a second? I'll second. Uh, <clears throat> then you'll second it? Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye by roll call vote, please. Tom? Yes. Lynn? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you very much. Uh, the next item is uh, requesting that the township staff be given the day after Christmas. 2023. It's a Tuesday, December 26th, and closing the township offices on that day gives them an extra Christmas day off. And I would so move that request. I'll second. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Nays? Hearing none, motion carried. Thank you very much. The last item is the township reimbursement for mileage for the following personnel. Kathy Harris works in our uh, assessor's office in our building department. She asked for $40.62. Uh, her mileage is calculates out. Nicole Hart is our deputy treasurer and she has a total of $64.85. And Sarah Stefano is also um, in the treasurer's office as the administrative assistant, $15.72. We have a motion to pay those people their Mileage, please. I'll make the motion. I'll second it. All in favor, signify by saying aye by roll call vote, please. Mary Agnes? Yes. Tom? Yes. Lynn? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Okay, public comments. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to say anything? No? Push it down a little bit, yeah. Yes. Otherwise, you're going to bump your nose. Um, Yep, so um, you all know me. I'm Lisa McKenzie at 7505 River Road. Um, just a couple of questions tonight. Um, so back in May, um, the property next to us at 7503 River Road was declared a dangerous building. Um, it looks like work was started. Um, and I know um, from the state of Michigan order um, that there were certain things that were supposed to be done for the demolition. It was started. Um, it's not secure. There are some um, windows that are broken out. It looks like the door's not quite closed on it. Wondering when that work might resume. 
Well, they, the contractor uh, pulled his equipment off. Um, it, what's the what's the paperwork that you have here? Because I don't see I hadn't seen anything come across from the state. Oh, this. So it's just the, um, the uh, when you had the hearing. So the hearing officer Roger Iannucci. Oh, okay. Um, All right. Yep. Yeah. So you know, just reading through it, um, there were certain things that were supposed to be done. Well, um, Bill Bill Clausen hasn't issued the permit as of yet, right this minute, because of the fact that he wanted to know how he intended on handling the asbestos part of it. And because I checked with him first thing this morning, and he has not heard from anybody yet. But Mr. Moore said he's coming in to get the permit. And I believe Torello is the one that's going to come in and do it. But they've got an outside contractor coming in that just does asbestos. There should be two trucks with their names on it. And I told him I wanted the, the, to verify their licenses and so forth before they, you know, get started on it. And they haven't come in and got a permit yet, but that's the next step. So it has to be like a special permit, is that right? Is that uh, not from us, no. Bill just wants to, before he authorizes oh. it, they're going to do it a certain way. Okay. He wants to know that whatever he's doing, whatever they're going to do is something that would be, I mean, he can make a phone call to Lansing and find out in five minutes if everything is according to Hoyle. But, yeah. you know, without, without a name to, to tell him who's doing the work, sometimes you just know the name and you don't have to worry about it because, you know, that's what they do for a living. And if, if they've not had any complaints on them, they, you know, keeping your license is a pretty important thing. Right, right. Yeah, we're just, you know, obviously it's a concern to us because our, our home is right next to that and our intake for our heat and air is right there. Um, our son was born with one lung, so we're concerned about um, the cancer with the asbestos. So um, I appreciate that. It's going to be done correctly. Okay. Um, well, my, yeah, well, another point is it's 130 days past right. the, or, the, the order that was done. Yeah, but we we work with the with the guy that was doing it. So I wanted I wanted clear title before he decided to take the building down that he had the land contract on. He either had to pay it off or get permission from the guy that he did. He ended up paying it off. The man was in Texas. It took a while for the stuff to come back and forth. But those are the things that we we didn't know about till we you know till we got so, into it a so little bit. We, so we have a date when I can't give you a date. I don't know. It's up to the contractor. He hasn't even come in and got his his demolition well, I need permit. A date when the it would have been down, but normal residential don't require asbestos abatement. Normal residential. It was people on both sides. I advised my son to pull out <clears throat> to pull out the job. Because we normal residential, we don't have to have asbestos abatement. Oh a license okay. So Okay. When the questions were raised, we we've been had aggravation before and there's no money in there for aggravation. It was just going to come down. It was going to be gone. So that so, was that was the, the problem. Okay. The, and the, the reason why I asked for a date for the township to get involved is because we we've been talking about it since 2001. Right. And that, that was we gave them 90 days then. Well, most of us because it was a land contract, and the property owner was in Texas, and the land contract owners here and couldn't get together with both people. Everything was a go, and then asbestos abatement come up. Okay. But we, we that's the thing that concerned us. We knew that it was asbestos there before. How do you know there's asbestos there? Do you have a test? Well, the rep no. Well, it's, it's just based the, uh, on his report. The building. Yeah. So, so um, Mr. Here. Clausen report had put that on the hearing. Here. From the building inspector. Yeah. So it says the building is covered um, with the asbestos siding, which is crumbling and falling, and requ requires um, remedy. Recommendation consistent with applicable regulations. So everybody so. knew it was there. I don't know why all of a sudden it was a concern. It's the way it has to be handled. Um, right, but the well, we contractor made, got hired and brought in there. Okay, we were well, made we, aware of the asbestos siding on it, and we never, we never check that stuff. We just tear down the houses. Been, oh. it been, been doing it for 50 years. Oh. Never oh. seen one of them. Oh. Okay. So I'm glad it came up. Yeah. Okay. Just, the fact is, we still live right next door. To a house that has asbestos falling, it's if it's in the ground, it's right next to the house. It's just a concern. But so, when should we follow up with that? Like, I, I can't tell you until that guy comes in and, and pulls the permit that's going to do the job. Okay. Um, I even told Mr. Morris, he's the general on it. I asked him if he wanted to have them come in and just pull the asbestos permit for it, 
And he said, no, I'm not going to put him through that. And I said, well, who's going to, you going to call Kaufman back in to take care of it? And he said, no, he, he's going to have to go to, to Trello. So I don't know how fast Trello is going to be, but, you know, he's, he's a big contractor. Okay. But if the asbestos is removed and, and Mr. Kaufman is still available, his son is available to do it, to demo it. I'm sure there would be no problem switching out contractors, but I, I just, we just want to make sure that it gets done. Right. Okay. Well, both of them are reputable people. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll check back, back on that. Um, uh, hoping for a date, though. Hopefully someone can I can't actually, give you a date. I'm not even yeah. going to, I mean, it'll be done by next Christmas. That's all I can tell you. That may be, <laughs> that's the only Christmas I'm going to give you. Or yeah. Somebody's. So. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Well, right. we'll check back on that. Um, my other question is, um, can you tell us if there are any zoning changes in the township at this time? Um, I don't know if there's a zoning board where there are actual minutes for that, um, but we're just concerned about anything that might be changing zoning nearby in uh, the township. Nearby to your house? In the township, yes. Or just in the house, in the whole t township? Um, we're there's interested no, there's in nobody that's road. approached me to, to make an application to change, change any zoning. Okay. Uh, someone did ask me a question today, but he says, I don't think we can, we can swing it this year. And I said, well, all right. But, you know, I gave him an application. I said, you want to fill it out, bring it in. So, we'll so how, does, how does that work, though? Is there a zoning board in our no, township? No, there's no zoning board. The Zoning okay. Board of Appeals is for changes in uh, requiring variances to the zoning law to make an, a difference in, in uh, the construction or the, or the side yard or the front yard requirement, anything that would, would be something that the building official has turned it down because it doesn't meet the township's records. Then you go over his head. And then if you, if you, if you don't get what you want, when you go over his head at the ZBA, then the only other choice you have is circuit court. Okay. They're, they're above everybody. So, so if a property were changing zoning in the township, who would approve that? It it's got to go, go f usually we send it to planning commission. There's five members on that. Your husband's on that board. Right. Okay. And, and, that, and that comes first. And then, uh, you know, after the regulations have been decided upon on a, what they call a site plan, then it would be turned over to the township for, for mm -hmm. their review. After we send it to Port Heron, to the county metropolitan planning does okay. the uh, deciding for to make sure it meets all the regulations and our stuff as well. Then I send it to the lawyer to make sure that the lawyer's happy with it. Then it comes back here to us and the township board acts on it. So it, it takes a good four months if everything goes according to Hoyle. Is, is it the type of thing, though, that, um, like, if we were living near it, that the neighbors would be aware of that? Like, would there be a public notice of that? Oh, yeah, there'd be, there'd okay. be a public hearing. Okay. Yeah, and it would be sent out to um, rezonings. We do 500 feet okay. of any property within 500 feet that touches that piece. Okay. Okay. Are you looking at one particular one that you're inquiring about? Uh, well, we're just concerned. Um, yeah, just just concerned about the area. I just want to make sure if there's anything changing. Um, thank you. Yep, that, that that explains it. I just did, I didn't know if you had a zoning board or how it worked for the township. So well, it's a that. zoning board of appeals. It's not a zoning board. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And then um, I'll be applying for the um, trustee position. Um, I have many years of public service, <laughs> um, and I've also worked in the township for over 10 years, and we've been here for 20 years. So um, I would imagine I would email the yes, board? Yes, or... send us something to the clerk. Okay, and then do you want a cover letter for that? or? Well, you should put something in it. I mean, we want okay. a resume, and then a maybe cover. the reason why you want, and if you've got you know, a husband and family, and cover letter. like you say, how many years you've been here, that's the mm -hmm. stuff that you want to. Okay, all right, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, there's no announcements that I know of. Any board member comments? Nope. Hearing none, we need a motion to adjourn at 8.04. I'll make that motion. I'll support. All in favor? Aye. 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 Nays, none. God bless you.